Hi there, this is Shannon with Chic and Sassy Nails by Shannon. I'm going to do my next Manny, and I'm using two of the new sets that I haven't tried yet from our fall collection. This is Smoke and Mirrors, and this is Better Safe Than Starry. This is a clear overlay um, with the option to go back and forth, like reverse the which design the dark on the tips or the dark on the base. I haven't even decided what I'm going to do exactly yet, but I am going to start with the smoke and mirrors. So I always like to cut them open so I have more of the bag left to um, to seal them up and when I, the extras up and when I'm done. Um, and I like to do the opposite end from the um, the little mark, marked end to rip it because it has the name on it. So that is what I do. I'm going to pull the sets that I use because I know which ones fit my fingers best, generally. And then I'm gonna put the rest back in the bag so they stay fresh. So because Color Street's 100% nail polish, they will dry out once opened. Oopsie, I got the nail cut. Uh, this little resealing technique reminder is just not something that's guaranteed um, by the company. So I, nobody endorses that as a, but let's just say a lot of us use it, but it is not guaranteed. So one of those use at your own risk type things. So just a second. All right, we're going to start with my pinkies. So what I do have on here is I do have a layer of, um, what is it? The Color Street Nail Strengthener. So I prepped my nails earlier today and now it is right before I'm going to go to bed. I thought I would quickly get this done and then let them cure overnight so I can um, not mess anything up before they have a chance to cure. All right. I kind of lined it up a little bit crooked here, so... That's right. Ooh, I love the. I'm loving this purple ombre. It's kind of a lilac-y, silvery purple color. It's not, um, sorry, I'm kind of, I should double check and make sure everything is in focus. Somehow it's hard to, sometimes it's hard to tell. I forget too sometimes when I'm doing my manis to make sure I'm staying in camera in frame here. But alright, so I'm gonna try to quickly just get the um my base on. I'm doing all the same. I'm doing kind of a simple mani. I wasn't in the mood to do anything crazy this time. So we're going with a basic, I'm going to use one set all on the base, and then I'm going to do a couple accent nails. I haven't decided which ones yet. So I just realized that normally, I used to always, oh, when I, sorry, when I, re, when I reposition that nail, the strip, I got a little wrinkle in it. So let's see if I can push that down. So if you don't have one of these little rubber cuticle pushers, these are the best. To... I know they sell nicer ones. This is just a little travel one. Um, I end up just using that, but they do make nicer ones. And they have them at... Oh, I went over my cuticle, which I don't normally... Or the proximal fold, which is that part that we kind of call tend to call the cuticle but it's actually this part here of your nail is called the proximal fold. Let's see if I can, I did go over. It's not gonna clean up that neat though. I'm gonna try to smooth that out so it doesn't look too rough. I did not 
position that one the best. So I'm going to clean up the little edges because I am kind of picky about that. I don't like the strip going over my skin. So I take a little extra time to clean those off. All right. Okay, and let's clean this one off. I didn't sit and did do that yet. All right, so then I'll use the orange stick to trim the excess. And on this side. So don't mind my crooked finger. All right, that didn't rip all the way off. Okay. So I don't use the teeniest, tiniest strip. So for my pinkies, I use the second smallest strip. So it really just depends on the size of your fingernails what strip to use so make sure you pay attention to which strip is best for your nail size or which strip size is best for your nail God, i'm kind of putting everything on slightly crooked tonight and because i have cuticle um nail strengthener on it makes it doesn't make it as positionable so usually if you have a bare nail you can reposition before you, if you haven't pushed it down too much. Um, when you have a base coat on, it is a lot trickier to do that. So sometimes you can't at all, and it'll rip, the strip will rip. So you do have to be careful. I like this color a lot. So I am going to, if you can see too, I like to get two nails done with one strip. It's not always doable. Sometimes you don't have the strip um, gets ruined in the process. Sometimes your nails are too long. You know, many reasons. So that's just something that I do if I can. I can't always, um, my thumbs are too long. I won't be able to do two, two nails with my, the two, the, with one thumb strip. So I will do, that's why I took two of them out. This is such a pretty, it almost looks like a silver, but it's, I mean, it does have that lavender. It's definitely a purple, or maybe lavender is a better description. I can't remember if the base is considered a dark purple or a gray or a black. I really don't remember what the, what the instruction or uh, description says. Speaking of that, I don't, if you're new to Color Street, or even if you're not new to Color Street, did you realize that each set has a description in, if you click on, so if you're on a phone, if you click on the picture of the nails, of the little thumbnail, it takes you into the actual item, and it um, gives you more picture options, and it gives you a description. Um, if you're on a laptop or a computer, you have to click on the name of the set when you're browsing the catalog or the website, because that's what the link is, is the name. Like it's an obvious link kind of situation, but, um, there is a little difference between the website and the mobile or doing it on a phone. Oh, I might have gotten that too low. And my nails are longer than I normally keep them right now, so I don't know if I can get... This one looks like it's too short, because I... that one's too long. So that's going to be too short, so I am going to have to get another strip out, which is fine. But like I said, that happens. I lined it up a little... I'm a little off on the base, so it's kind of, and then I got 
little excess stuck to my stuck to my other fingernail. That is probably one of the only problems with the base coat is when you get it doesn't make the strips very repositionable. Somehow I got wrinkles on the tips and I'm trying to smooth those out. I'm over my I think I'll have to clean that up a little bit on this edge all right I probably don't need to be this picky I always am all right let me grab one more which finger I don't know if that's sure that'll work. It might be a little narrow. We'll see. All right. I am getting tired. I do not get enough sleep. But I'm getting, I'm kind of used to it. I should, I should stop pulling this up. It's just going to be lower or a little bit higher than it should be but that's okay every time i go to pull them up it's too um it's too hard with the base coat so we're gonna skip that and that's good enough it doesn't have to be perfect i know i tend to be such a perfectionist but so this is a glitter ombre. It has that um, really fine um, kind of holographic glitter. There's a little wrinkle I didn't get. And like I said, I'm going to show an overlay quick. I'm trying to make this just a little quick mani because it is getting late and past my bedtime. Actually, that's not true. I stay up really late usually, but I try to go to bed earlier. <laughs> it just doesn't normally happen. By the time I work... I work jobs that I start at night, so that's a little tricky. I'm having a heck of a time getting these very smooth when I'm in a hurry here. I also think this is going to be too short to do uh, two strips. <laughs> I'm not used to keeping my nails long. My curvy fingers are a lot trickier. I gotta smooth that out just a second. All right, so I am just gonna try to trim this up. I don't know if the amount left on that other the leftover where did that go is enough I don't think it is it looks pretty short so again I need to grab one more strip because some of my nails are longer or I'm just lining them up a little off either way 
we're gonna take oh, these curvy nails of mine. We're gonna take this one that has the curved sides and see if that helps. My pinky, which is super curved, and then my index fingers or pointer fingers are my trickiest ones because they definitely have more curve to them. So my pinky curves, you know, obviously it's, I have a crooked pinky, so it's curving this way, but then it also curves side to side. And most of these nails only curve this way and not so much, I have a little bit of curve here, but this one curves more as you can see. So it makes it harder when it curves in both directions. Um, one of the tricks is, I'll show you, but like I said, it's a lot harder when I don't get them smooth all the time, especially with when I'm kind of in a hurry. So it is important to slow down on these, and I don't remember. Again, I keep lining them up crooked. <sighs> okay, I'm going to flip it around. Like I said, I should I should just do it and not care if it's perfect or not. So I like to flatten it at the base, and then as I pull up, I'm smoothing. You gently pull it taut on the sides, and then smooth it out. Again, I got a little wrinkle, but usually I can get the wrinkles out with the cuticle the rubber cuticle pusher so let's see and I'm just gonna smooth out these wrinkles kind of from base to tip I want to push and that one I'll just work out as I push up so that one actually did pretty good so I'm gonna clean that little excess Flip that into my lap. All right, so then I'm just gonna clean the little any excess. This one's just gonna kind of tuck under. Oh, maybe I'll clean that. All right, I want to make sure that is down on my nail and not over, my pro over the proximal fold so that so when I rub that on there it kind of trims off that little bit that didn't get stuck to the nail alright and get that off so I don't always do my thumbs next because if I'm going to do an overlay, I'll save my thumbs um, till the next, like till after I do the overlays, but I have those open. I'm going to go ahead and apply those and then I'll just show you how I stop using my, <clears throat> my fingernails as tools. Sorry, I got to give a drink. <clears throat> These look even, don't they look kind of silvery? All right. So like I said before, my fingernails are a little longer than I normally keep them. So they are a little longer and I can't get two nails done with every strip as you've seen, but I usually can't even do, can't do that with my, um, with my th thumbs when they're not even this long, so. I'm having trouble like I know why I'm having trouble lining up it's kind of like I don't have the best lighting when I'm recording here because at my desk I tend to block well I block the overhead light because it's behind me and sometimes I don't want to have my have my desk light on too bright because it makes it um it makes it like glary or it can throw the color off too all right 
Ah, everything's sticking. All right, so let's push this down. Smooth everything out. And then let's, did I get a weird wrinkle? And then let's clean up the edges like that. And I kind of like to clean up a little around, like I said, if I got any strip on that proximal fold, it just helps it adhere if it's directly on the nail bed and it will help as your nails grow out, you won't get it caught as much on your hair because that little tiny edge is lifted. Um, but it's hard to, it's hard to not have that as you get growth. It's not, it's, uh, it tends to, your hair kind of will get caught sometimes. Offcent. I'm always a little off, like too much to the right. So I have a little more um, nail showing on that other side than I would prefer to have. But like I said, nobody's going to notice but me. And now you guys. But other than that, <laughs> nobody's going to notice. So this is like my sleepy bedtime Manny right now. All right, today too, um, I should talk a little bit about, today was the launch of the new lip collection by Color Street. So I really am still testing out my own, figuring out what colors I like and wearing them a little bit when I go out, when I leave the house, I don't always leave the, well, I leave the house most mornings to go to the gym, but I don't wear, I'm not going to wear lipstick to that, but, um, once I get cleaned up, if I'm leaving the house, I've been trying to test the lip stick just to try it before I, um, you know, I don't know, before I'm promoting it more or whatever it, it is. The colors are pretty. It's fun. Ooh, I like these. Look at that. All right, I'm going to empty this little trash pants out. This is like a little egg stand. I don't know what they're called. Um, all right, so let's put a couple accents because I can never just have one plain set. It's not a, I, can, I, I don't think I can do that. So how do I want to do this, though? Good question. Oh, I should have reversed one of these. Too late. I don't know how I want to do the accent nails. If I want to flip them, like do, I don't know. Do I want to have one? I think I'm going to have one one way, one the other, just so I can see it. So lately, I've been doing these two nails as my accents for some reason. Maybe I'll do these two on my thumb. All right, let's just try and see what this looks like. And then I can decide what I want to do. So we'll just keep these out real quick. I'm just going to go for it because I don't really, I don't really know what they're going to look like until I do this. I didn't plan this ahead. A whole lot. Is it even going to show up though? Because of where the placement of these stars are. Hold on. I'm going to want to lower this set so that I get some of these stars because otherwise I'm not going to. Hmm. Because I definitely want to get the star, the like the 
Okay, so I'm going to do that. So I actually lowered the... So I'm not going to be able to use to the other side for this, but that's okay. So do you see how I... I wanted more stars to show up on this lavender part. So I had to lower the strip and then I'll just have to clean up the excess. This part that was over my nail. So, so then I'll go in. All right, let's see here if I can find the edge of my nail. This is what I mean where I don't really plan ahead a ton here. <laughs> because I realized as I was doing this that it wasn't really going to show up. Like the black on black is so subtle of the stars. That I think it's just going to look black. But I wanted the, the little black stars to show up on the tip where the lavender is. So, let's see if I can push this hard enough to cut that off. All right. Close, I almost got all of it in one peel, I guess. Ugh, the hardest is to get it off my fingernails. Okay, so this is said like dropped lower so it's lined up and then this one let's just see I, like I said I might have to line it up different too depending on where the stars hit the different ombre colors that is the one thing I didn't think about doing an ombre under this Hold on, I have little clear pieces stuck to my fingernails that I want to get rid of. I tend to get those like trapped under my strips when I'm doing videos and it drives me nuts. So, okay. Because then you have like a bump. So if I put this here, where is it going to... It's just going to be the tip. I'm going to lower that one too if I can take it off. Okay. Is this other side lower? Mm, they look pretty equal. So, where do I want to have it overlapped? Yeah, all right, that's good enough because. So then this is going to be the reverse. I don't know. Said, I don't know. I didn't plan a ton ahead on this one as far as the actual overlay goes. It makes it look black, so I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I can get it up though, so eh, it'll be what it is. I'd have to do both layers over once I set it down. All right, so I definitely like the with this ombre, I definitely like this one better, I think. Let me look at it more in the light. But it does give it a cool look too, so I don't know. As things like grow on me too, it tends to I'd be like, oh yeah, that looks really cool. Like if I see it in the daylight and so. Now I gotta get the clear part off that overlapping my skin here because I dropped it down. I feel like the clear overlays are so sometimes thicker than regular strips. I don't know if that's actually true, but it feels like it sometimes. Have you ever noticed that? All right. I'm not cutting all the way through. I 
I'm glad I'm not on camera with my face too. When I'm concentrating, I think I stick my tongue out. Like a little out of my mouth. That's so funny. Okay. So, it's kind of cool though. Like I said, I think I'll probably like it. It's probably something that's going to grow on me. Oh yeah, I think it's cool. Okay, I do like it. I think I still like that one better. Alright, so now I have to do the same thing. I don't know which two strips I used. We're going to go with these two. And then... Do I want to do my thumbs or not? I might just leave my thumbs. I don't know. I might save all these because... I think I'm going to just keep my thumbs plain. So what I normally do, because this is just one layer, these ones are all, these three are just going to be one layer then, um, is I'll put like, and I'll just put a couple layers of my top coat that I like. So I'm going to use, all right, so it is this one for, wait, for this one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So I've been using... I've tried many top coats um, lately. My favorite... Actually, for a while, my favorite has been the um, OPI Plumping Top Coat. Uh, the Color Street Nail Strengthener works at the top coat, but I do like the thicker... Um, I'm going to put this on the wrong finger. The thicker... Hold on. How low did I go? Not that low. Um, I'm just going to go a little lower. Mm. I've been, it doesn't matter. I've been liking the thicker, um, the plumping top coat a lot. I just like the look of it and... All right. Again, so I lined up the design on this instead of paying attention to the edge of the nail strip. So, oops, wrong side. Which makes me have to trim the base part at my proximal fold. So it's not the it's not quite as easy when you use the curved end of the strip, but it isn't too difficult. The best thing, like I said, is you use the rubber cuticle pusher to really push down the strip and you can help identify where your nail bed ends and then I like to make sure that this is not too stuck to my skin which it kind of is already how'd that get pushed down so hard already all right so then I'm going to take my orange stick and kind of push a little bit harder on the nail bed. This is where you have to be a little careful that you're not pushing too hard on your skin. Well, I mean, you can obviously don't want to push so it's hurting you. But basically the idea is just to cut it enough that you can get the excess off. I got like half of it. So this isn't quite centering the strip. So like on a glitter dip design, it was close though. Um, you you can center any, oh, I guess any of these kind of designs that where it's like a that glitter dip effect where the 
ends are different than the base of the nail, or the tips are different than the base, you could center that design in the middle of a nail. So if you wanted, like if it would be easier to see if it was like a solid color, but if I wanted just this part showing, you would just center that over the nail, as long as your nail isn't longer than that piece, obviously. So now I'm gonna do the same thing, but with the dark, well, with the negative stars instead of the black stars. And how did I do that? I just went kind of to the base here. I don't know how far down I went. It doesn't matter if it matches perfect. Because really, who sees both my hands by each other very often? Nobody. Okay. I'm going to pull that tight. Ooh, that ripped. That works. I just ripped it when I pulled it. Pulled it a little too tight, I guess. So then I want to, I want to make sure this clear part isn't too close, isn't too uh, stuck to my skin. I want to use my rubber cuticle pusher to push everything down and then come in and clean up. This one isn't quite as uh, it's not going to be noticeable, like the black edge with the reversed. And you cut it if it's like not perfectly straight or whatever. If it's a little jagged, you can't tell when it's the clear. It's not. It's like not that much to come off. I did not overlap it as much on this hand. All right, let's see if I can just. Can I grab part of it? Oh, there. Okay. I just get it stuck to my fingernails. Let go. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to call that done. I like the... I liked seeing how the reverse tips look like that with the... the some with the negative cut out and some with the more the positive shape but then it's like an ombre itself in the glitter dip or in the design so yeah it's pretty cool i like it all right let me know what you think thanks for joining me have a good night